And it's an era of keyboards and touch screens. For several decades now, letters and words, pen and paper have taken a back seat, but efforts are on to bring back the beauty of cursive writing. Vyond's Hyderabad correspondent Prasad Bhosekar visits a cursive writing workshop in the southern city where professionals from different backgrounds are putting down the touch screens and learning how to write again. It's a Sunday and most youngsters would normally be texting, mailing or playing video games with each other. Not this group, who have gathered in the southern Indian city of Hyderabad to learn the fine art of cursive writing. And considering they are being taught by Mr. Malika Jun Rao, a handwriting expert who heads the private National Handwriting Academy, they couldn't be in, shall we say, better hands. Since 1996, Malik Arjun Rao has been going from place to place, school to school, only to stress to learners and enthusiasts just how important it is in this digital age to know how to write and write beautifully. In India, I can say it's uh, 50 plus. Actually, most of the knowledgeable people, learned people, are maybe Christian, Catholic schools, missionary schools. They strongly believe in cursive writing. And when it's India, when you go to a, a southern part like Kerala part, totally 100% they write cursive handwriting. Some parts of our place like uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, you know, these places like Karnataka, they believe in non-cursive handwriting because most of the teachers are not aware of cursive writing. Interestingly, all these young people are professionals from different fields. They're all classmates here, but each has a different story and background. And the reasons for wanting to revive the art of writing, there are many. When I, right now I'm 26. When I'm 15 years old in 10th class, our school used to start by 8 o'clock in the morning, but for me it is for at 7 o'clock. The only reason that my principal used to call few of our friends uh, who is having, who are good in academics, but we have a very bad handwriting. From that day onwards, I'm uh, trying to improve my uh, handwriting. Nagmani did her education in Telugu, the official language of the states of Telangana, whose capital is Hyderabad and the neighbouring Andhra Pradesh. Though she didn't study in English, Nagmani certainly appreciates good handwriting, especially the cursive form. I'm much confused to how to write cursive handwriting and everything. Still, I am not perfect in that field. So whenever I used to write on the board, people say that we can't understand your handwriting. Not now, but when I was a start startup, uh, first when I entered into this field. Even a psychologist like Gautam Kumar felt the need to wrap his fingers around a pen again. More so after a bank manager made him write out checks repeatedly because his scroll was illegible. The bank manager called me and said, so if you are the person, if you are the Gautam Kumar and why you are not able to write your signature properly, so you must be having that practice now. I said, sir, I am a creative person. So creative persons tend to have that uh, thing that they doesn't uh, uh, are able to write in a, in a sequence, in a proper uh, sequence way. Therapy is all about modifying certain strokes in handwriting in order to change their mindsets. So by the end of my session, my participants will not only improve their handwriting, they will also improve their mindset, they will also come out of the bad memory, they will come out of the laziness. It's fascinating to watch and heartwarming to find enthusiasts for handwriting among a generation that knows nothing but digital communication and were born long after the era of handwritten letters and postmen. And knowing the fascination that young people hold for fads, cursive handwriting may soon be part of the new rage for retro chic again. With Prasad Bhosekar in Hyderabad, Anisya Kumar, Beyond.